I've been working with many different materials, but graphene is one of the most exciting materials I've ever come across. In fact, it's probably the material I've been waiting for for the whole of my career. Many materials we use just have a single function. They're put into an object just to do a single thing, to either be strong or to conduct electricity. But the advantage of graphene is that it can do many things. It can be multifunctional. The best materials for applications such as transport and aerospace are very strong and very light. And graphene has both of these attributes. One of the first applications of new materials is usually in sporting goods, such as, say, Formula One or skis. And already, graphene is being used in tennis rackets. And this tennis racket is commercially available. It contains graphene, and it's said to perform better than conventional rackets. Graphene has these multifunctional properties, which means it opens up completely new opportunities that we've not yet thought of, of using materials in completely different ways. We can probably design structures, we can de design components using graphene, which will have the ability to do things we've really never thought of. The multifunctional nature of graphene means that it's going to have limitless applications. We can foresee it being used in aerospace, motor vehicles, wearable clothing, flexible electronics, and many applications in medical and biomedical devices. We have this hub of people who are actually working on this exciting material and finding many new different applications. Graphene was first isolated and characterized in the University of Manchester. This is one of the largest universities in the country. There are now 200 researchers in the university who are looking at graphene and finding new ways of applying it. This large breadth of expertise means that Manchester is leading graphene research worldwide. This is going to be the area where we're going to see big developments in the future. The researchers have raised considerable funds already for their research upon graphene, and that's growing rapidly. And we have 61 million pounds to develop the National Graphene Institute, and this is going to be the home of UK research in graphene in the years to come. It's certainly the material of the future.